Hi, I'm Kimmy Rose. Many of you know me already, but I wanted to share with you something exciting that's happening. We are creating a wonderful network that will support each of you on your journey. One of the things that many of you know is I've been through the journey of publishing a book, actually three books, doing radio shows and TV, and also I had an agent and finding ways to network, and many of you know me through our networking efforts that we've worked so strongly together on. And I've spent the last couple of years just kind of stepping back and going, how can I complete that purpose and really live and anchor in that purpose that I set forth to do? And the answer I got was, well, you're purpose is teaching people we are one so it's create a support system for people so that they can move forth and share their dreams and do it in a way that isn't going to cost them a lot of money and definitely isn't going to take you down a road where you feel like you're not learning anything i'm really blessed through radio to be able to learn how to do a lot of things. I have a lot of wonderful tools. So one of the things that we're doing, and I want to thank Keith Hosom for create for giving us this space on the mixtalk.com, is creating a wonderful network that helps you to reach people from your heart and to help them to have a space to really share the truth in. And by doing that, we'll be able to actually link up. Think about everybody in this network and the links they have. And then another link and another link and how we can just reach out to so many people. And I know many of you, because I've been watching, have we've, we've went and we've spoke together. We had a really cool event up in Sleeping Bear Dunes and We've had some other events, and Donna Visaki, we had one here, and it, it's just, they've been little things that create bigger things, that just anchor in that support that we need. And we do need support, so that was the message I got, was be a support system to the teachers. So, the mixed talk is going to be on Monday through Friday, and we will be talking to each of you about the shows you'd like to do. It'll be produced exactly like regular radio show and it go Keith can give you the stats. We've got a wonderful, wonderful connection. He's been doing this for quite some time and we all have followings. I have over 40,000 people that come to my website and what I am going to do if you go right now to KimmyRose.com forward slash community, you will see a blog site called Prisms of Light. What I will be doing is offering each of you your own blog site, a place to sell your products, a place to network, and do your own classes right now and in the future something that we will work on because we're doing this one step at a time. One step at a time is uh, to have a classroom to offer services to. But right now we're just gonna be prisms. We're all beautiful prisms of light as we take that site and take it off of my website because it doesn't belong to me. It's about the we. And allow it to be as it is, prismsoflight.com. As we're all these beautiful prisms that we just are taking this journey together and we are all staying in the same vibration, staying peaceful, staying calm, and we're just sharing our wisdom. And as we share our wisdom, we share that love and we support one another. So getting to know each other is really important. The more we love each other, the more that love spreads out and the more we can reach the very top of that prism and literally manifest down onto this earth. A lot of people ask me, how do you create things? And I, I, I had to ask the question, why do people come to me and say, well, we want to do this work with you. And I'm like, well, why, why? And what I realized is I'm not attached to it being about me. It's about the we. 
my message is part of your message. We're all linked together. And within this wonderful network, we're all these beautiful prisms that have a part as a whole. W-H-O-L-E. And as we manifest down, remember a prism is a pure reflection of light. Thing, this is, is going to hold its space. And it'll hold a space for you and for others. So if you feel like you're going crazy and you're trying to figure out where am I going to go? I need to hire someone to represent me. That won't be needed. This will provide you with all that you need, all the tools. All I ask is that you give back to each other. So when are we going to do this? My goal, as, and as I talked to Keith, would be sometime in the beginning of March. It would have been nice to start in February, but to be honest with you, I really want to do this right. And so the sound and how we do it is going to be just, just have to be perfect. You'll all be getting, we'll be talking to you, you'll be getting scripts, you'll be getting, you'll, you, we're going to train you on how to host a radio show, and you will each have a producer who will produce the show, take calls, there's a number, and we also have an app. So lots of things that we're building and creating. So this gives you some time to think about what you would like to do. And I might ask everybody in the blog site to share at least something weekly and try to keep up with the people that are that are talking to you and it also will offer that chatting during your show and if you are working on a book one of the things that we'll do is help support you with like a press release and media connections and one of the things with doing a show is I want to make sure that I provide you with the names of places like through the Association of Research and Enlightenment, Llewellyn Publishing, different publishers that you can contact so that they can send you the books of their authors and you can interview those authors. If your show is going to be about interviewing other people, if you just want to make it about your message, that's okay too. Whatever it is that you choose to do, we'll talk about it. This is a support system. And the most important thing is, is to know that we are one, that we are all connected. So if you wonder, why did she go away? I didn't go away. I've actually been going through a lot of things. I stopped having sugar. I wanted to make sure that my vibration was very clear and very centered. And as they say we, in, in a movie that I love so dearly, and it's a book, it's called Siddhartha, as the ferryman takes Siddhartha across the river, he said, everyone who comes to the river eventually returns. And in that river of stillness, as we rapidly start moving and we went to these big businesses and did things, we all have decided during this time, it's really about simplicity, that we can really reach out to more people when we ask for the support of people around us and that's the prism and it's so much easier than you think it's not that hard and trust me I have learned it and I want to share it with you that's the gift that I feel God's given me is the opportunity to share it with you so you don't have to feel like you're wading through this muck I call it that's gone anyways we're in the age of Aquarius the age of enlightenment the only thing about this time is to remember that everyone in your life, as we are in Aquarius and as Scorpio is just moving through for the next year, like this year, 2016 is all about looking at people and really seeing the mirror of people in your life. So if somebody bothers you, remember that they're teaching you something about yourself and it's to let go of any of those insecurities or heaviness that you have. And to be okay with you. And to sit in your integrity. Now I'm not pushing it on integrity saying you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. I'm saying you know what's best for you. And to know that as you mirror things out, people will mirror things back. You're going to attract the exact mirror of who you are. And I feel blessed to have attracted each of you in my life. And you know that if you are on the Facebook page 
that I purposely had asked each of you because I felt that you each had a special purpose. And I'm sure there's more people out there. And as we spread the light and we are the prisms, we will bear that light and hold it. I look forward to this journey in 2016 because this is the beginning. 2017 is even going to be more amazing. Bless you.